J-Bay making amends with Kim Ye, so who is to thank for this crazy reunion? Let's see, and Taylor Swift's 2018 is off to a very scary start. Selena and Kendall Jenner dogged by fans. Why? We're about to tell you right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to Holly Scoob's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Conklin. I'm Kate DeRocher. And were you a shipper of J-Bay and Kimye as friends? No, I think it's just a little bit too much. I mean, Jay-Z and Beyonce are obviously the power couple and then Kim and Kanye are trying to be, so it's like, no, let's just stay separate. Well, as you guys may or may not know, these two couples have a history. They were BFFs, then they had a massive falling out. We aren't really sure who is to blame. Some say it's Jay-Z's lack of reaching out after Kim's robbery. He could do it. I would be pretty pissed if I were, you know, Kim and Kanye. Others say it was Kanye's rant about Beyonce and Jay-Z at his concert. Also could do it. Again, Not yeah. Great. That would piss me off. So either way, the friendship unraveled right before our eyes. And after that, the couples went their separate ways until recently. Yes. That's what reports are saying. So Kim and Kanye recently had their third child, a baby girl. Congratulations. Which, what do you guys think they're going to name it? We've heard a few things like oh. Louis Vuitton, LV. I'm into... Vuitton, like that's cute. Vuitton, yeah. yeah that's you guys let us know in the comments what you think Kim and Kanye are going to name their baby. Um, going on, The Sun reports that Beyonce and Jay-Z extended an olive branch, if you will. Mm -hmm. A very expensive <laughs> one after uh, the, the, the birth of the baby girl. And gifted her a diamond Lorraine Schwartz bracelet worth just a cool $21,000 with the number three engraved on it. So casual. Stopping there. What would you do if your baby got a diamond bracelet, like an infant, like three days, four days old? All I know is I would get into a lot more fights with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make up as many times as possible. That sounds great. That's, but, that's a good plan. Yeah, and an absurd amount of money for a baby to have, but I don't know. Now, <laughs> are you buying that Beyonce and Jay-Z were the ones to reach out to Kim and Kanye with this? Or do you think maybe it's been kind of a behind the scenes thing with Kim and Kanye, Kanye and Jay-Z kind of talking? I could see them reaching out because it seems like that'd be in their nature to be kind of nice when something yeah. this big happens. Like, okay, let's mend things and move on. Here's a really nice bracelet to prove that we're friends again. Exactly, with the number three to <laughs> signify your third child. Now, I'm wondering if North and Saint got gifts. We haven't heard about that, so. Yeah, whoever this, whatever the baby's name is gonna be, she is lucky. Oh, yeah. um, a source went on to tell the son, quote, Beyonce and Jay could not be more pleased for them. They can't wait to meet the little one and have sent them this gift already. They continue by saying, quote, it shows they have all moved on from the past and they are a familia once more. <laughs> familia. Familia. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm like, it's like the Brady Bunch. You got North Saint, questionable baby. You got <laughs> Blue Ivy, Sir, and Rumi, and Just then, like Beyonce, Jay-Z, Kanye. Yeah, <laughs> Kim. insane. Yeah. What a family. <laughs> what what a freaking friendship. So I don't know. I foresee some future play dates in the future, which with Beyonce and Jay-Z's new like compound and Kim and Kanye's like, oh my god. That'd be amazing. I'd be a, a pig in mud. Oh yeah. I want a babysit for them. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of pigs in mud and animals, what do Selena Gomez and Kendall Jenner have in common? A love for dead animals. Yikes. Disgusting, and their fans are super pissed off. I'm getting to that in just a minute, but first. Taylor Swift's really crazy, scary start to 2018. So Taylor has stalkers, you guys. Stalkers so being plural, more than one, and one of them is going after her family. It's not okay. Quick background on Tay's stalker. His name is Frank Andrew Hoover, and he was arrested in November 2016 for stalking Taylor after a concert in Austin, Texas. Terrifying. T. Swift got a protective order against him, which meant he had to stay 500 feet away from her. Time and time again, he kept breaking it, so he's back to getting more charges. <sighs> so, in addition to this Frank Andrew Hoover stalker, there is another one who just this week claimed to be her boyfriend, and he needed a gun to protect her. What? Exactly. <laughs> Who would believe that? Yeah, TMZ reports the, the stalker that claimed to be her boyfriend said, quote, he bragged he was the singer's boyfriend. Authorities have been trying to get in touch with Taylor's team to warn her about him, but like, it, there's no answer if they got a hold of Taylor to be like, this guy. Right, what's happening? Do we know who this is? Yeah, and it's a 58-year-old guy. It's not like some Ooh. kid that's like, yeah, she's my girlfriend. Like, it's a 58-year-old man. really scary. Poor Taylor. I mean, I can't even imagine being followed by somebody, too, like that guy did. Yeah. Frank Hoover, that's... Yeah. Nightmares. So now, back to Frank Hoover. Hopefully you guys are following. There's too many stalkers to keep <laughs> up with. He has been stalking Taylor since 2015. He waited for her outside of her concert, and he's been sending her family emails threatening to take their lives. Like, you mess with me, that's one thing. You, throw, you mm -hmm. threaten my family and you mess with them. Way too far. Way too far. Oh, yeah. That's when I stopped too in close and for I'm comfort. angry at that point. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm freaking crapping my pants at yeah. that point. Like, okay, I'll now he's up. going after <laughs> Yeah. So once again, TMZ on the scene reporting. He said in an email chain of 122 pages, quote, 
decided that we are going to end all the Swifts on one day because I can't stand that virus-ish your daughter spread. And this article is not a joke and this is why God is going to burn them into the desert for me. Absolutely insane. Like, what? I, I don't even know. Just the fact that it's 122 pages, that just goes to show how crazy Like, this relentless, yeah. never ending. Yeah. He's broken this restraining order multiple times. Like, that is really, like, how do you get someone behind bars for good after that? You know, like, he's done nothing right. to hurt her. What do you even do at that point? Poor Taylor's got to be out of her mind right now. Exactly. So, thoughts to you, Taylor. Good luck with everything. Glad I don't have stalkers. <laughs> So, Kate, do you like fur? Do you own fur? Do you wear fur? I like fake fur, but not real fur. Okay, I was a good. vegan for a month. It didn't go very well, but you tried. I tried. You tried I tried. So, no, I can't wear fur. I will admit I got a mink stole from my grandma when I was, like, in elementary school. It freaked me out. I literally threw it in my mom's face. I said, I don't want this. Get this away from me. <laughs> well, it turns out Kendall Jenner and Selena Gomez love fur and that's what they have in common. They like to wear it and their fans do not like it. Kendall was on a runway in a big fur coat. She was posting behind the scene pictures on her Instagram, just like, like Decked rolling around in this fur, it's <laughs> disgusting. And then Selena was spotted out in New York wearing a fur vest, a real fur vest. And that is when people went off on Twitter. A plethora of their users and fans spoke out and let their grievances be known. One user said, quote, I hope that's not real fur, Selena Gomez. What the F? And another person came down on cell saying, quote, this better be faux fur, sis, because you don't need any more dragging at this point, Selena Gomez. And we know it wasn't faux fur, right? Yeah. Oh, God. So it was, yeah, it's, oh. it's a big old, like, fox rabbit thing that she's wearing. It's not gross. good, not good. Like, who didn't stop her? Who on her PR team wasn't like, this is a bad idea. Right. For stylists, maybe you should have thought of that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> people were not happy with Kendall either, where other users tweeted, quote, I literally have no words. Fur is not fashion. Brands like this are an absolute disgrace to the industry. Simply disappointed. It's an unfollow from me. Hashtag unfollow Kendall. No fur. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you're that passionate about it, for sure. Fair I don't, enough. I don't think I, well, I think I do follow Kendall. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Well, I'm following her. No, I'm probably not going to unfollow her. That's okay. <laughs> Another Twitter user came after using the Pepsi ad as ammo. They tweeted, quote, Kendall Jenner, I believed you when you did the Pepsi ad, and then promoting it to be as is glorifying Glorifying murder. Glorifying mur whatever. murder, yeah. Absolutely disgraceful. P yeah, they were at a loss for words, clearly, in that tweet. <laughs> and then finally, one user pointed out the fact Kendall tried to steer off the haters from her Instagram pictures of her wearing fur, tweeting, quote, so funny how Kendall Jenner posts wearing a fur coat on IG and blocks the section for comments. Hashtag smart thinking. I mean, good move on her part. Good move on Kendall's part, because after the Pepsi ad, her. people went crazy on yeah, her social media. But like, it's just, it's so funny to me because Chloe did that huge PETA mm -hmm. campaign, like I'd rather go naked than wear fur. And Kris Jenner's like, it's just so sad to see these animals, you know? And then they're wearing fur coats on the daily. Like it's, to me, yeah. it's just repulsive. It is awful what they do to these animals. I'm all about animal rights, so. I agree, and if, you, if you're gonna just, be against using animals and makeup and yeah. clothing, whatever it is, and you talk about it, then you actually need to stick to it. Like, practice what you preach, you guys. Exactly. Don't just say it to look yeah. good. And neither Kendall nor Selena, to my knowledge, have come out to be like anti-fur, no. you know, people, but, and I get that it was Kendall's job to wear, but it's also just gross. So, yeah. I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you fur fans? Are you anti-fur? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, what do you think about Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kim, and Kanye making up over a $21,000 bracelet. <laughs> Woo! For me. And Taylor Swift's freaking stalkers. Let all your thoughts, grievances be known down in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye everyone.